He's using the drill because this is being reused, so we don't want to damage that. As you can see, got the block working, all top points at the top, tie wires it in. Morning. So, <clears throat> it's a Tuesday. It's a beautiful day. Right, now we're mic'd up. It's 14th of March and it's half eight and we're back on the same estate where the extension job is. Because the customers here walk past us, I think they've got dogs, so they're walking past with the dog and noticed us, so asked us to come and have a, have a look to give them a quote. So, this is today's and tomorrow's job. The bricks have been ordered and are gonna be delivered today stroke tomorrow. We're not sure yet, but there's plenty for us to do today. So this, basically they're having the kitchen done. So they need a bit of remodeling on the brickwork. So what we're gonna do is take this window out, take all this ugly pebble dash off, tooth everything out. Well, probably do the toothing first <clears throat> with that monster. And then this window is gonna be transferred around the corner. So toothed out, new face work all the way up and we're gonna go a, a little bit out there and take that vent out and brick that back up as well so it's all nice and tidy. And then we're gonna, obviously it's all bl block work's already in up to there. So we're gonna carry that block work on up to the top. And we'll also show you what we always do when we're bricking up a window, which is knock the jams out. Because back then they used to return the block work back to the face work and put a damp course in. So that's gonna give you a cold bridge now, which we can sort out. So we cut the cavity back out and we run our insulation into through to the cavity so everything runs right through. So you lose the any chance of any damp getting through and this cold bridging strip, that 100 mm this side of the window that's there now, won't transfer any damp or cold after. And then lintel stays in, there's no point ripping out the lintel out. And then this window, it's being transferred to here. So it's gonna be put against this, this edge. Then this, this side's gonna be toothed out and all that's gonna be toothed out. So that's gonna be bricked up, up to the window. And then we're gonna brick up this side up to the window, which comes to about here. So new windows go in here. Face work, face work, block work, block work. So um, I think we'll be able to, it's got an opener on it. So we'll be able to take that opener and actually fix that window onto this side. Also, on this side, we'll put some screws in, some of the long grabbers, stick them out about three and actually build them in as we go. So that's it, there's a lot of toothing to do, quite a bit of a mess, but um, just this, this is just our kind of job. So um, no need for a skip because the, cust because the kitchen's getting remodelled, they'll be getting a skip when they rip the kitchen out, so we're just going to pile the muck down there on the drive, on the concrete drive. I can't think of anything else now, I think, I think that's everything. I think that's enough talking now. Alex is getting the van unloaded. I'm going to get this evolution set up and start making a mess. So we'll stick the camera somewhere up high, out the way from the dust, and get cracking. Well, that was quick. It's uh, <coughs> just gone nine in Hughes Grey area. So, excellent. Bricks are here. He said he's going to try and get them around the back for us. So, he's going to try and go onto that road and drop them here, which, if he can, smashing. It's a lot less uh, moving around for us. So, we'll, uh, when he gets around, we'll see what happens. And uh, for now, we'll, uh, we'll see you then.
Perfect, yeah. Perfect. Amazing, thank you. <laughs> That's certainly uh, a lot easier than being out on that driveway, so thank you, Hughes Gray. That has uh, saved us play about out. Hughes Gray what? Hughes Gray, Hughes Gray, Warrington. Thank you very much. That has saved us a lot of moving around and messing about. Now we can just get them covered if it starts to rain. Happy days. So, um, Dad's eager to get drilling now, so I'll pass you back to him. Frog down. down, yep. I'm going to do now too then. Oh, it starts with the top and it will down. If you start on the bottom, there's a good chance you can snap your tubers off as you go. Oh, well, that's the first header out for toothing. <laughs> Just uh, a, few, a few more to go. I'm, um, I'm taking this out while he's doing that, so we're both busy. I'll get you set back on the pilot. Interrupt Dad's uh, drilling again, but progress. It's a lot better than uh, the last extensions brickwork. The mortar's a lot more softer. <laughs> if you didn't hear that, he's not only he's using oh, he's using the drill because this is being reused, so we don't want to damage that and. That is coming out eventually, but we might need an acro for it, so he's gonna see we're gonna see about that later. And this <laughs> is a lot easier than uh, the rendering on Jason's job. And they've just done it in brick and heads flat, so I'll yank them out. Oh yeah, and they've set it back obviously to make the rendering flush. But yeah, so I'll get them out now. Dad'll keep drilling. And we'll hopefully make some good progress before break or before the rain comes. There's the plugs from when we've done the injected insulation. Pardon? There's the plugs from when we injected the insulation. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's the injection uh, holes for the insulation. Right, I'll let Doug get drilling again. They're uh, coming out nice and easy. Once that comes back, I'll get him to uh, give you a demonstration. But uh, obviously, because they just um, sit on edge, there's less resistance. You want to demonstrate? Like that. Thank God it's not bloody polystyrene balls. Oh. 
trying to move polystyrene balls is hard enough. When they get wet, it's an even more of a nightmare because they just don't pick up. No, when they're bone dry, they're the worst. When they're wet, they stick it together a little bit. It's bone dry, just, the wind just takes them. Mm. You can't hoover up. You can't move them up when they're wet, though. No. Either, they suck either way. And the halves are just dropping out. Yeah. Like these, yeah I'll show you. these just came out by accident. But uh, yeah, if you's uh, if you's are aware, around the middle of March was wet week, so we're uh, we're in in the impending doom. Yeah. You know. So uh, we're trying to get as much as we can done before uh, before that rain comes. I mentioned at the beginning it's forecast crap this afternoon, but we brought the evolution tent with us to give it a try for the first time. We've got a bit of an overhang here. Hopefully it'll fit in here. And if you showed the overhang on the back, we're, we're well great at the back. Yeah, we should be fine for rain on the back. Just this side, it's, it's going to be a, a pain. But yeah, hopefully this evolution tent will come in handy. I better, uh, I better help. I'm just uh, studying, aren't I? Gonna need it because it's forecast rain for the next two weeks. The cold, it's like cold and wet. Cold, cold, wet. Back to the bricks. Well, there's what we had, and there's what we're getting. But hailstones. Yeah, hail at the moment. But hailstones. Hailstones. But that's out at least. All that's left now is that part and the rest of that. So yeah, are we having a break now or um. ten o'clock? Yeah, let's see what it's like. We're just going to have to try and... We're just going to have to sip it so you get the tent up. I don't know how big it is, is it a fitter in here? Mm. I'm not sure if it's three meters. Well, it's in the garden. I'm ready. Mm. I'm ready for anything. So... Shall I talk to Justin Brickwright? Hey? Shall I talk to Justin Brickwright? Yep, Justin Brickwright, you're the reason I've got this bad boy. So yeah, we'll have a quick break, see what this is doing. And then we will... Uh, See what happens. Maybe we'll get this evolution out if it works. So, see you after break. There we go. What time are we now? Half eleven. Ooh. Yep, half eleven, twenty five to twelve, give or take. So that was a mammoth task, but we're done. We've had two two snappers, which is absolutely amazing considering these are London brick. The uh, that's a bit of a mess at the moment. I've stuck a brick and a few packers under that corner just to support it, but on a cavity lintel, the lintel's supported on the inside skin. That's not going to go anywhere, that because, like I say, it's built into both skins, so that's just belt and braces. That we'll just take that as we get up to it. Um, we're going to clear all this shite out now. We're going to get a mix in, and Alex is going to start running this in. Um, while he's doing the mix, we're going to pl uh, stick some pl plastic on the wall inside there. You see, we're just starting to come through there just to keep the dust down. I know the kitchen's coming out but it's still being used at the moment. So plastic around the window out and then what we need to do is knock all that out. All the cavity closures that have been built in and they're quite solid then. Like every three are tied in, see, and then the others are just a brick. So that means it's a 65 mil cavity so it's not a bad sized cavity that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's our task before lunch. Clear up, get a mix set up and get this window out. And while Alex is running that in, I'm going to pop round here and crack on with this, with this toothing. I'll do the same again, I'll just do it with a drill for now. Might take a little bit out with the, with the evolution, but then go back to the drill. I've just noticed this is a three quarter here. 
so we might have to take them out, depends how the bond works. So, yep, yeah, got the blocks drying out nicely. They've soaked the van with that wet. So, yeah, that's the plan. Right, that top one is the only screw holding this frame in now. So, everything's out there. That's holding nothing, that's holding nothing. Al, stay there mate, I want you to push this frame out. Let's get this frame out, shall we? Put you on the bin. <coughs> I'll put you over here on the uh, evolution slot. Hopefully you can hear me now. The camera says you can, so we'll see. Right, boom. That was a lot more work than we thought, as usual, it always is. The, uh, took the uh, fan out, took everything out, cleaned the cavity out. It's all nice and clear, down below DPC. Ready for us to put new insulation all the way in. This is the important one, you must take the returns out the cavity so your insulation goes right through but don't forget there's no window there anymore it's a solid wall so you, you're, you get rid of your cold bridging it wouldn't be damp because the, the depth course is in there but you 
You want to get rid of your cold bridging. Look at them monstrous concrete lintels up there. The size of that. So yeah, that's the plan. Well, I haven't told you what the plan is yet, but there's Alex. He's about to put a mix in. The rain's actually stopped for now, which it's forecast all afternoon, but it's been on and off, luckily. And as you can see, there's no block in this. It's all brick, which is very rare because it's about 60s, 60s, maybe early 70s. So it's weird seeing them using brick on the inside. But yeah, we took the top off here as well. There's a big brick and edge here with the, the cavity closed off across here as well. So that's all been knocked off. So we've got a completely clear cavity now, all the way around. We'll probably be boshing that in and putting the block in there so they can plaster that. So yeah, mix is going on now. I'm going to get these blocks cut because we've worked out the pieces. So we've got half, full block, full block, 80 mil piece. And then the other is a 320 piece block, block. 320 piece block block so it's just um one two three six cuts to do so i'm going to rat rattle him off now and let's get some mixing he's just using our um i think isn't that a curtain side al i don't know i think it's the side of our gazebo you see the evolution tick <laughs> today it's a brick cover it's covering bricks up today we haven't used we haven't put the tent up yet we still haven't done it but we will when it gets bad enough and it's like it's blowing a bit windy down here so i don't want to put it on and struggle with it blowing away so plus it's stopped stopped so they can go up no problem uh, and then alex can start rattling the brickwork in and i'll go around there and start pre prepping for tomorrow so yeah hopefully we'll still get a good day out of this so we'll catch you in a bit So, here's a little progress update. We've almost got this in, one more course to go, and I just wanted to show you before the comments start rolling in. Got my tail wires here, alternating on each course. There's gonna be some going on this course now, three on here, and screw ties are in too. So, just before you have a go at us, they're in. And then there'll be three more going in, like I say, and then that'll be this part done. Um, the sun's out for probably about two seconds, and then. Oh yeah, the, like the, this is used nothing. Yeah. It's, it's a tight bed, so it's just mortar's gone a long way. But yeah, so last course, then shift all this stuff back in and try and get some. Well, not try. I will get some brickwork in. So get your sit back up while I finish this off. I'm catching you in a minute.
There's a few shades in them. Right. Bloody hell, it's been a long day for me. Well, just because of the because we can't get the, the grinder right in and we can't get the recipo in, it's drilling. So it's very slow going. So obviously that side's done, you've seen that. I've got this side done, this side done, and I've just managed to get a few cuts of the grinder in there. So I can get the grinder packed away because it's actually about quarter past four. Still got half a mix these up. But um took all them out, took the two cores out from under the door. It's still safe enough. Alex made a lovely job of the block work. Great job. So there's just a little bit of tidying up to do in there. I've packed all the stuff away. I'm gonna get everything in the van. Leave it to the last thing and then jump on with Alex, who's currently one, two, three, four, four courses up. So tomorrow, when we get back, we're gonna come early. Get an early mix in, half seven. Um, I've got grinding out and stuff to do up there, uh, drilling out, but um, I'll jump on this with Alex till about eight o'clock, till it's, till it's a decent hour, and then I'll jump on that and get the rest of those two out. The two that just took so long. But uh, like I say, we always do things properly, so all that's been done. So basically tomorrow, Alex just gets a line up and wax these in. While he's doing this, I'll be around there, get the two that's out, get the doorway out, get the door window out, and then cleaning that window just through there cleaning that up ready to go in there and then all, all the customer has to do then is just seal it because you don't want a brick layer seal in your window you want to, you want, um, like i said they're having, the, they're having the kitchen done so i should imagine the kitchen fitters will be handy at doing a bit of sealing so i'll probably get them to do it for them so yeah, that is it it's pretty silly job of knocking the mortar but it is it is getting on a bit but we knew it was going to be a, uh, we knew it was going to be a tough one today, so we'll just keep plodding along, and we'll catch you in a bit. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a bit surprised we got that much done. Considering how the weather's been, although we're saying that, the weather, all things considered, has been very generous. Because um, it's been raining that way, so I've been quite sheltered from the rain here. And Dad's had the uh, that, that there to keep him covered a bit, so... I've done quite well, as you can see. Got the block work in, all top point at the top, tie wires it in. Get a close up for you. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go. We're about 17 courses up, I think. So we're over halfway. That's just ready for a scaffold height tomorrow. 10 to go. 10? Yeah. Uh, 11. Hmm? 28, this one. 10 courses to go. Oh, so 18 courses we've done then. Happy days. Well, there you go. So that's that done, and I'll take you around here quick because Dad hasn't been doing nothing. He's got most of the tooling out ready. That's all the tooling, actually, isn't it? No. Oh, that bit there. But um. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more halves to come out. But up to window height, height he's uh, got the tooling done. So tomorrow we're going to cross our fingers that the weather's just as uh, generous to us. And it's took longer because. Instead of just destroying the frames with the grinder, I've, I've held back just in case they, do, they want to get, they want to sell them on. And all the shit I get in the comments about throwing stuff in the skip, so they have an option. It's up to them if they want to throw it in the skip or not. But I won't be throwing it in the skip. It's sellable. So we'll catch you tomorrow. Well, seems we, for, well, I forgot to film an outro again. So from from the office. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. 
That way you'll always be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex and we'll see you in the next one.